So they use that spread offense. One back in the backfield, Case in the shotgun. He fakes the handoff on the receiver coming on the jet sweep, and he's going to be taken down the backfield. It's going to be a loss of a yard, and, and Hudson saying that he fumbled. There's a pile, and this could be a big play early, and Hudson does. Hudson. They recover the fumble. It's going to be Hudson football first and 10 at the Arrowhead 36-yard line. And the big pile up in the middle of the field, Don, I didn't see it, but obviously that ball popped loose before going down. Uh, the Hudson defensive line really showed me some good things against Greenfield last week, even though they did give up quite a few points. There's definitely some size there, and we'll talk about some of the guys anchoring this line, but they converged in the middle uh, very well, and somehow that ball popped out. Uh, great break early on here for the Raiders. Bring up a fourth and four, and I imagine we're going to see that Hudson go for it in this situation. Jake Powell, the 6'2", 235-pound defensive lineman, the senior for Heartland Arrowhead, amongst a host of others, was uh, clogging up the middle here, and looks like this time Hudson is going to roll the dice here in a much better field position trying to sustain this drive. They have a receiver split out to the right. Receiver on the left side is just off the line, the tight end spot. Steubendick looking to pass, rolling out to his right, firing towards the sideline. A you great catch over there by Thomas Newell, and it's going to be enough for a first down, down to the 24-yard line of Heartland Arrowhead, a pickup of seven on the play. Guts, gutsy play by Max Steubendick. They're going to the air on fourth and four, just kind of a down-and-out pattern, good coverage. The pass was where it needed to be. Again, in high school football, just like Division One college, you only have to get one foot in he got it in first down Raiders Marvin in the H-back spot on the left side the handoff to Squires a lot of room up the middle the five and into the end zone touchdown Raiders Squires an 11 yard TD run gives Hudson a 6-0 lead with 846 to play here in the first quarter well the Hudson Raiders capitalizing on that early turnover it's going to be a turnover battle it's one of the one of the intangibles one of the things that Hudson's going to have to do tonight to come out of here with an upset win and they did it on that drive a, a very gutsy fourth down conversion followed uh, by Aaron Squires punching it in, and we got a Raider lead. Going in the backfield is Jager, uh, Jager Marvin, the pitch to him. On the outside, nothing but green, 30, 20, 10, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds at around the five-yard line, going to be a pickup. They'll mark it at the six of 44 yards, a huge run there, John. Well, that's that, that's that option attack that Hudson throws at you there as the defense collapsed uh, what they thought was the primary ball carrier, the pitch out to the right-hand side of the field, lots of green in front of him. The, the speed was there, and Hudson inside the 10-yard line looking to open up possibly a two-touchdown lead on the favored Heartland Arrowhead Warhawks. Third and goal from the nine, five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. The pitch goes to Marvin to the outside, the five, dives for the goal line. Did he get it? Yes. He did. Touchdown Raiders. Jim Jager Marvin with a nine yard TD run gives Hudson a 13-0 lead with 522 to play in the first quarter. If you're a Hudson Raider fan, I know there's a lot of you tuned in tonight. This is an excellent, excellent start on the road for this Raider club. 13 to nothing, and this running game is hitting on all cylinders. Marvin, Burgess, Squires, uh, Max Dubendick running the show, looking good. This equals Hudson's worst starting field position, so not too yeah. bad at their own 35-yard line as they come out in the typical formation. Marvin into the backfield, comes around, takes a handoff, and he has green, 50, 40, one to beat, 30. Outside the numbers, the 20 runs out of steam down around the 15-yard line. It's going to be a big gain of about 50 yards. He'll mark him at the 15, so it will be a 50-yard carry for Jager Marvin, the senior, and another first down, first and 10 at the 15 of Heartland Arrowhead. And we are seeing a coming into their own. We're very early on in the season, but this combination of Jager Marvin and Andre Burgess is really lighting it up. Kaiser Helterbrand, they're going to tee it up on the hash marks at the 25-yard line. So it will be a 35-yard field goal attempt for Helterbrand. Helterbrand's kick, it's a high kick, angling, and good. And it is good. Just inside the right upright, and the 35-yard field goal gives Hudson a 17-zip lead with 141 to play in our first quarter. Again, with Hudson... We're only 25% through. Don, you, you mentioned it, and I reiterate it. They, they cannot get complacent. Hand out to Pop Andrea Hole into Hudson territory. He's gone. 30, 20, down the near sideline. 10-5, touchdown Warhawks. 
And the words. A 53 <laughs> yard TD run by Pop Andrea. The words no more than got out of my mouth and bang. That third and uh, less than a yard and Harlan Arrowhead strikes Paydirt on the board, cutting a lead to 17 to six. Again, Hudson on the road, the underdog here tonight, trying to put together a flawless game. They've done a pretty good job so far, sitting on a 17-6 lead. And that penalty will go down as an 11-yarder as it happened a little bit in the backfield. And the fumble, ball is loose at the 23-yard line, and Hudson gives it back to Arrowhead as Steubendick tried to put it in the gut of Squires, and the ball just came out. Well, we, we know that Hudson took advantage of the uh, Warhawk turnover in the first quarter, and now the Warhawks are gonna try to uh, do the same against Hudson. A costly turnover coming off a penalty on the previous play, and the Warhawks starting with very, very good field position on the 24 after Hudson defense uh, pushed them to three and out on their, on their previous possession. The Warhawks looking to close the gap now. Hastings moves to the right side of Case. He gives to Pop Andrea Lane off right tackle, and Pop Andrea untouched into the end zone from 15 yards out. His second TD run of the game. He's now got 124 yards rushing on 11 carries, and it's a five point game. Hudson leading 17 12. Well, one of the keys to victory is being able to take advantage of your opponent's mistakes. Hudson was able to take advantage of a Warhawk turnover in the first quarter. The Warhawks return the favor, if you will, and take advantage of a Hudson turnover deep in uh, their own territory, strike Paydirt, and we're an extra point away from this game going 17-13. Becker and Mitchell Grothy back to receive the punt from polling, and Arrowhead has almost gotten in there each of the last two punts. The sails over the returner's heads, and it's taken a great bounce and it's gonna pin all Arrowhead the all the way back at the one yard line. So that will go as a 59 yard punt with no return for Parker Poling. That is exactly what the doctor ordered for this Hudson team that's been reeling here probably the last five, six minutes as the, the Warhawks have closed the gap. They're gonna put them all the way back inside the one, Don. Excellent, excellent punt coverage by the special teams of the Raiders. They had four players that were around that football. Back and down and six for Arrowhead. They trail 17-13, 4-10 to play in our opening half. Hudson with the lead the whole way thus far. Receiver split out wide to the right and the left. Ball hash mark to the left for Henry Case. Case takes and he's going to pitch it. It's loose in the end zone looking for Hastings. This is gonna be points for Hudson, the safety. Hastings recovered it in the end zone, but Hudson covers him up and it's two points for the Raiders and they extend their lead to six, 19-13 and they'll get the ball. Well, and Hudson was inches, inches away from recovering. That was a live ball in the end zone. Harlan was able to recover it, but uh, obviously has to take the safety. So Hudson gets the two points. Hartland Arrowhead has to punt it away uh, to, to Hudson. So Hudson will retain possession, but they were inches away. Boy, that would have been great if they could have been able to get on that uh, and, get, and get six, possibly seven points out of that but instead of two. But I'm going to give all the credit in the world to the Hudson special teams for setting that up and pinning the Warhawks inside the one-yard line. The defense rose to the occasion, and that is thumbs up for the defensive stand that time by Hudson. And this is angled off to the right. The, hold is, the holder is the quarterback, Henry Case. Nope. Hold is down, snap is there, kick is away, and it is good. So a 35-yard field goal. Remember that Helterbrand had a 35-yarder in that first quarter. It pulls Arrowhead to within three, 19 to six. Two receivers right, one to the left. Fakes a handoff to Pop Andrea, throwing deep. Looking for Tetzloff, and Tetzloff with a nice catch at midfield. They will mark him inside Hudson territory at the 47 yard line, a pickup on the play of 41 yards. Well Don, we were wondering if Harlan Arrowhead was gonna go back to that passing attack. They have and they've had a lot more success here in the second half than they did in the first. And uh, you know, Hudson defensively is gonna to have to adjust and shut that down. The handoff goes to Pop Andrea. He breaks it out off left tackle into the end zone from two yards out for his third TD run of the game. And Arrowhead has their first lead of the game. 22-19 over Hudson with 4-10 to play in the third quarter. 
Steubendick looking to pass, throwing off his back foot deep down the field. Got it. And getting free was Thomas Newell at the Arrowhead 45-yard line. They'll mark Huge. him at the 44. It goes down as a 34-yard completion. Biggest play for the Hudson Raiders offensively here in this second half. You know, they were looking at having to punt it uh, deep, deep in their own territory and potentially giving Harlan Arrowhead good field position. Biggest play of the second half for Hudson by far. And here we go, John. Third and goal from the one-yard line of Arrowhead. Hudson trailing by four. Gutsy run by Max Steubendick. He's got some good moves, and here it is. Probably four down territory here. Let's see if the Raiders can punch it in. Steubendick got gives it. the Squires over the top. Touchdown, Raiders. And Hudson retakes the lead, 25-23, with 40 seconds to play on the one-yard dive by Aaron Squires. And if that wasn't a gutsy offensive possession by the Hudson Raiders, I don't know what is. A crucial third down conversion, excellent running, opportunistic. They, they took advantage of some arrowhead mistakes, and they have answered and gone back ahead. That was the gutsiest offensive possession, one of them that I've seen in six years of calling, calling high school football for Hudson. Arrowhead comes out to start the fourth quarter. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Two backs in the backfield behind Case. Case takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Papandrea. Look at the pass, hit from behind. Ball is loose. And it looks like Arrowhead was able to jump on it back at the 38-yard line. But forcing the fumble was Cole Goodbow, and he has had a game here this evening. Good, good ball, had a tremendous hit, but opportunity missed. And Noah Bennett reading his body language knows it, banging the floor. Bennett was right there. The fumble was right there, but he was unable. He was about a second too late uh, to get that fumble. That would have been absolutely huge after a big-time hit. Jared St. Arnold was the one that recovered for Arrowhead. Little screen pass to Hastings. Hastings with some room. The 45, first down, cutting across the field. Hastings burning away. The 30, the 20, slips a tackle. The 10, and into the end zone from 62 yards out. Wow. On the screen pass, and Arrowhead rips the lead back from Hudson. 29 to 26. And again, the margin for error. I go back to the previous play. Hudson forcing a turnover. Heartland Arrowhead getting on the fumble, you know, a, a second earlier than Hudson did. On the next play, they strike Pater. That's how games are won and lost. You know, that, that margin for error so very thin, and Arrowhead strikes. And third and 13 to be exact. Fairly deep in their own territory. They're backed up to the 30. They're going to have to strike on this one. Two receivers right, one to the left. Steuben Dick in there at quarterback still. Snap goes over his head back at the 20, picks it up at the 15. Rolls to his right, under pressure, steps up, throws it off to Squires. Squires Broken down play. the far sideline, 45-50. Squires cuts inside a bit at the... Arrowhead 45 and down to the 40 yard line. A pickup of 29 yards on the broken play and Hudson with the first down. And that is Hart again, converting third and long again to sustain a drive on a bad snap. And that is Hart and man, oh man, is this an exciting ball game. Second and goal from the one. Squires again. How can he, he not in be there? in? There he is. And he's in. Touchdown Raiders! Squires in for his third TD of the game, and there it is. Hudson wrestles the lead back from Arrowhead 32-30 with 7.51 to play in the game. Just like they did on their previous offensive possession, the Hudson offense showing some heart, overcoming adversity, converting on third and long through the air yet again as the bleacher creatures across the way with the, with the Hudson flag, the American flag, uh, a great, great scene here at Harlan Arrowhead as the Raiders have pulled back ahead in this back and forth classic battle. Big extra.